Hello, good evening. Welcome to the class. Hey teacher, good evening. How are you? Hello, good evening. Welcome to the class. We are going to wait just one or two more minutes for the people to join. But let's wait a little bit more. Okay, everybody, welcome to the class. It's a pleasure to be with you tonight. So first thing that we're gonna check is about the platform, of course. So this is the class of today. And here below you will find the question for this. 
class. Also remember that we need to do the homework, right? It's going to be very, very easy. So you can see here that you just need to check what will be the best option. Only five questions. Okay. And uh, as usual, we're going to check the attendance at the beginning of the class. So let's see how it goes. Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present. Good evening, teacher. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Present, teacher. Dani Josué García Martínez. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present teacher. Liliana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Irene Azucena Cuellar Álvarez. José Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. Present. Seems that I have some problems. I cannot hear you. Can you hear me very well? Yes. Yes, we can. Yeah. Yes, I can hear you. Check something here. Did you hear our present? <laughs> Let me just Did you hear me? Do you hear us, teacher? Can you hear me now? Yes, we can hear you. We can hear you. Do you hear us? Hello. Check this thing. I cannot hear you, but I don't know if you can hear me. We can hear you. We can. Oh my goodness. Hello. Yeah, I'm checking, but the microphone seems that works very well it's like the speakers the one that is not working because you can hear me but i cannot hear you i know. guess that you have to uh, check the settings of the like him remember he can listen I, I can listen uh, right now i don't know what happened i can listen and you can hear so something where was wrong did you hear our presence no, I cannot. So that's why I was kind of weird. So I'm going to start all over. Okay, don't worry. Okay. So, okay. Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present teacher. Good. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Present teacher. Good. Dani Josué García Martínez. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Mm -hmm. Check the chat. Okay. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present teacher. Good. Ileana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Irene Azucena Cuellar Álvarez. Jose Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. Present. Good. Jose Osmin Rivas Navas. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. Good. Juan Miguel Blanc Mejía. Present teacher. Good. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Good. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Present teacher. Good. Roberto Luis Umaña Orellana. Roxana Yvette Asensio de Mejía. Steven Vladimir Villacorta Rivera. Present. Good. 
Suleyma Yvonne Moreno de Hernandez. Present. Perfect. Okay. So, uh, Danny, okay, you're here. Good. Perfect. So, my friends, we're going to start today is Monday. I hope you had a very nice weekend. And uh, we're going to start with the book today. We haven't checked anything in the book. So, let me just, oh, well, actually, we need to watch a video that it was requested by Insafor to be watched. So, let me just show you this. Okay, here we go. And then maybe we can provide any feedback, any opinion about this one. So here we go. El Insaforp ha trabajado con un alto nivel de profesionalismo, pensando siempre en incrementar las posibilidades de crecimiento para la gente de nuestro país. Nos hemos dedicado a que a través de la formación se generen oportunidades para los salvadoreños y así cada vez más, en un mundo más competitivo y globalizado, siempre existan en nuestro país posibilidades de superación para todos. Miles de hombres y mujeres han logrado desarrollarse profesionalmente y han ampliado sus conocimientos y posibilidades laborales a través de los diferentes programas de formación que son parte del Sistema de Formación Profesional, el cual ofrece programas de formación para todos los niveles de recurso humano dentro de una empresa. Se ha incrementado productividad de muchas industrias y cientos de empresas a través de la capacitación y formación de cientos de miles de salvadoreños con programas como Área Técnica, ofreciendo cursos técnicos para mejorar el desempeño operativo y tecnológico de los trabajadores. Competencias Gerenciales, con temas de capacitación para complementar y actualizar conocimientos para áreas de gerencia. Inglés para el Trabajo, contenidos estandarizados del inglés para hacer a los trabajadores más eficientes y productivos en el desempeño de sus funciones. Mejora de Competitividad de las MIPES. Amplios temas de capacitación, específicos para micro y pequeños empresarios. Cursos cerrados y abiertos, tratando temas de capacitación para trabajadores de las empresas cotizantes de Insaforp. Insaforp Online, cursos online con el horario y ubicación que más convenga al usuario para la constante capacitación en múltiples temas y profesiones. Trabajando con el compromiso claro de ayudar al desarrollo del país y con un equipo profesional entregado a buscar oportunidades para nuestra gente, es que Insafor ha logrado tener un modelo de gobernanza y gestión ejemplar que tiene como base el diálogo permanente entre el sector empleador, laboral y el gobierno, formando a los trabajadores, capacitando a la gente de nuestro país. Es que transformamos la vida de las familias salvadoreñas, porque en Insafor trabajamos todos los días sabiendo que, a través del conocimiento, es que estamos formando un mejor El Salvador. Con el objetivo de formar en igualdad el Instituto Salvadoreño de Formación Profesional Insafor, presentó en el año 2017 la Guía para la Prevención y Erradicación de la Discriminación contra las Mujeres en los centros de formación fijos donde se desarrollan programas permanentes de formación profesional del INSAFOR, cuya elaboración contó con el apoyo de la Organización Internacional del Trabajo, OIT, y su objetivo a largo plazo es contribuir a mejorar las condiciones y oportunidades de acceso y permanencia de las mujeres en los procesos de formación profesional sin discriminación de ningún tipo. La guía pretende poner a disposición de INSAFOR y de sus centros colaboradores un instrumento que les permita identificar, conocer, prevenir, atender y erradicar progresivamente cualquier discriminación por razones de género contra las mujeres. Posteriormente, el Instafor desarrolló un plan piloto de implementación de la guía en tres centros de formación fijos y es así como surgen cuatro instrumentos fundamentales para la aplicabilidad de la guía, siendo estos manual de convivencia, protocolo de atención en casos de bullying y acoso sexual, lineamientos para la comunicación de los programas de formación con lenguaje inclusivo no sexista y la guía metodológica para la prevención y erradicación de la discriminación contra las mujeres. Dichos documentos fueron elaborados con el enfoque de derechos humanos y de género, 
estableciendo medidas que garanticen relaciones de respeto, igualdad y equidad entre todas las personas que forman parte y conviven en los centros de formación profesional. De esta forma, el INSAFOR asume la igualdad de género como un principio transversal de trabajo, entregando a los centros de formación estas cuatro herramientas que complementan la guía para la prevención y erradicación de la discriminación contra las mujeres, a fin de que sean puestas en práctica en beneficio de las usuarias de la formación profesional. INSAFOR, formando en igualdad. Uh, ok. Opinions, comments, of course, in English. Well, in my opinion, I guess that this afford is doing a really good, uh, a really good investment with the population of El Salvador because they help to improve a lot in different areas, not only uh, like with the languages and teaching a, a new language, if not that they also help at the industry too. Because uh, like we saw, uh, they have a lot of courses that we can uh, take very good perfect thank you very much actually that is true i mean there are many courses that you can take the most of them are for free and some of them depending on what you're going to do or what kind of specialties uh, you can pay a little bit so kind of good any other opinion equity i guess that is one word that i like the most of this video and that's true because i've seen uh, people learning women learning different um, things like they are working like a mechanic for cars and uh, they are learning also for the electricity the power and stuff like that and, and those uh, professions uh, they were uh, they were like we get got used to see just men working on those and, and yes i know a few women they been studying all those things also uh, another thing that i like is that they were able to change due to pandemic and uh, now as an example these courses i guess i won't i wouldn't be able to to be learning as i started last year because now they are uh, online. As far as I understand, all these uh, courses on the past, they were face-to-face, uh, -face. they were present, right? So that is, uh, I, I, feel, I feel good. I feel like a kind of benefit that I'm far away from the from day office and I'm still, taking advantage of all of this. Very good, perfect. Thank you for your mm -hmm. comment, Ana Claudia. Okay. Actually, that is true. I mean, uh, yeah, there are more opportunities for women to take any kind of courses. I mean, maybe in the past was like, are you going to take that one? Also for men, I mean, for men, I mean, if you want to, to put nails, right? Or whatever you want to do, I mean, now <laughs> you can do whatever yeah. you want. Equity. So, <laughs> yeah, that is that is very good. I believe that that is, is very nice. And nowadays, you anybody can learn anything. Exactly. There are no stereotypes. And also, I, I totally agree about what you say about, mm -hmm. I mean, being here online is amazing, you know? Uh, I mean, for me, it's a big opportunity to be teaching here. I mean, if that was only in, in, there in the classroom, I, I was, I, in the past, I was not able to do that one. I mean, because mm -hmm. I live in Santa Ana, I cannot go to San Salvador just to teach. And now this is a very good opportunity and pandemic was very bad, but also brought some good things, right? Exactly. Good, amazing, thank you. Any other comments, opinion? Yeah, 
it's good to see uh, that Insafort is um, training and, and specialization to people. And I think that word can resume all the specialization and are giving the people all the um, what, what can I say? Uh, all the things they have to know or to do to to get a better job in in, in a country. Uh, that is very, very important. Develop the people, develop the people skill and not just hard skill, um, but uh, soft skills too. Because I, I saw that um, there are uh, courses about um, management, something like that, and that's good. And uh, I don't know. I uh, in the past I I I have the idea. I had the idea that in support just uh, just training for um, technician something like that. Um, but um, but no, um, it's very very um, I don't know how to say um, holistic something. Yeah, at least huh? Okay, very good. Actually, that is true. I mean, now there are many categories, many kinds of courses that we can take and that we can choose. I mean, there are there is no excuse, right? So if you want to learn something, you just need to go to the catalog or ask, is it possible? Is somebody giving this one? I mean, uh, you can learn whatever you want. And you can become a better option not, not only within the company where you are right now but also for other companies so it's something very good and uh, we were speaking about that one i mean this is very interesting because it's related to the topic that we are discussing in this module about how the continuous development of everybody in a professional way is very very important right so very interesting any other person Mm, maybe in in the last in the last uh, day we were talking about continuing professional development. So in Safor, uh, through the different centers, uh, they give us the opportunity to develop our our career uh, or professional career, uh, and uh, if if we can go further. Uh, you can um, think uh, about your personal and your professional career. And if you find, like you said before, uh, any kind of course that you can uh, attend, uh, you can, um, I don't know how to say, tramitar. Um, um maybe like do the process for doing something. Uh -huh. You can do the process to, to obtain or to get this course in, in order to prepare to, to, be, uh, to be more, more prepared. Yeah. Uh, and of course, become a, a, a better option, like you said before. Very good. Remember also that anything that you learn is yours, right? So it's going yes. to be yours forever i mean if you are in another company in a year if you are in a different country everything that you know everything that you are is going to be for you and that is a very good thing speaking about this i have a question that sometimes i ask some people i mean there are many opportunities for example the english courses are, are very good why do you believe some people they do not take advantage of it. I mean, some people, they come to the classes, but they do not participate. Some people, they inscribe to one, two courses and then they stop. Why? Why do you believe that people do not continue or do, are not motivated to move on to this? I guess that maybe 
they don't see the future or the benefits about it. Okay. So probably, right? So sometimes they see, they say, I don't know, this is not going to be for me, something that I don't well, Sometimes they don't want to invest a, a time, but you know that you, if you invest your time, so maybe they want to see the benefit on the spot. Okay. Yeah. That sounds like, like, like a reason actually. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Think the they don't want to get out of comfort zone. I don't know. Yeah, that is also another thing that is true. I mean, you are nice there in your position, in your company. And as uh, Jose Wilfredo said, I mean, they don't see the future. They don't know what is going to happen. And they, don't, they don't plan for the future, right? Yeah, uh, I I think in my opinion that people or in our culture, for example, people don't just want to see the results as fast as possible. They want to be they don't want to be part of the process. They don't want to be involved in the process because it's um, it's a matter of time and effort, and they don't want to do that kind of thing. So they just want to see the results fast. So people give up easy. That yeah, way. I guess something like that. Sometimes, I mean, it's very related for, uh, for everything that you have said. I mean, some people, they prefer to watch a movie at night. They prefer to go out with friends. But I mean, depends on the objects that you have in your life, right? So if yes. you want to be better, you can invest in yourself. So that would be a very good thing. Any other opinion? Teacher, for me, it's uh, more than that is like have a real commitment with, with ourselves. Here is not the, uh, our enterprise and us. It's the benefit is for ourselves. So we have to get this uh, this commitment not to fail ourselves. Totally agree. And that is very true. I mean, the commitment is with yourself, right? It's with me. I want to do this because I want to then achieve other things. I guess that maybe it's easier whenever you are going to take a course that is going to take just two, three weekends. So it's kind of easier. But English, I mean, this is something that you invest a lot of time but i mean you are here the result is this i mean your english is very good and i know that you've been through many things to be here and uh, then in the future you are going to be in a better position me myself i know for sure that english opens a lot of doors even yes. more even more than your career i mean yeah it's combined and it's important but english is like opens the whole world and you know we are very blessed to have the opportunity to have these classes and um, many many companies don't have uh, the budget to, budget to give us this okay something happened okay even you know what is the cost of some english class right now in the market so that is it. Now we are for so that's good. We need to take advantage of all that. That is so true. I mean, it's it's very very expensive. I mean, it's not it's not cheap. So if you have the opportunity, I'm I'm know that you. You have done a very good job because whenever I speak with you, you I know that your English is very nice, it's very fluid. So we need just to continue practicing, right? Check some things, but the most important here is for you to practice. And I'm very pleased to be here with you because I see that all the effort that you have done through all these months has been valuable. And I mean, in the future, many things can happen in your life, of course. 
Okay, my friends, so we're going to continue with the class, definitely. So we're going to start actually with the book. We haven't checked anything in the book. I believe that you downloaded already. Yes. Very good. So this is it. This is the advanced level. And well, you always find there like a welcome message and then the four units that we're gonna watch and then the competences that we're going to learn. Of course, you have seen that I like to bring some different things, not only the book, but some other resources. So unit one, it says continuing professional development or CPD as we learned before. I will be able to describe benefits of promoting professional development in a company. So question for everybody, do you usually reflect on ways you could do your job better? I want to listen to you. So do you usually reflect on ways you could do your job better? Nobody. Yes. 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 In my case, I I um I I have a a situation a, a couple of weeks ago. I had to install and configure some a uh, some a server in in my place, but uh. It was a new version, uh, and the version that that, that I was uh, or that I knew, it was obviously older than than the new one. So I had to uh, obviously reflect and 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 ask for myself, how could you do this faster uh, in order to. Um, to don't waste your time, okay? I, I was telling to myself. So uh, I had to read and I had to uh, watch some videos, some video tutorials about how to do uh, this kind of, of, of things, this kind of, of settings and, and uh, all, all the things uh, in order to, to set uh, the server. But uh, after that, I was thinking about what if I should call uh, to the provider? Uh, could do this uh, faster or better, but uh, the worst part of this, it was uh, the, the equipment or the server was a uh, out of warranty, so I couldn't uh, call the, the the provider. So I had to invest and I had to to install and configure and deploy all the solution in in, in my office. Uh, I think is uh, one of of the the things or one of the situations where I can uh, tell to myself you should do or you could do this thing better if you uh, maybe uh, buy the, the, the warranty or the extended warranty, but uh, there are some things that exceed my competitions inside the, the office and uh, we, we could um, uh, buy the, the extra warranty, for example, but Obviously, I had to read and I had to improve and I had to to uh, deploy the solution. Very good, very nice story. So that happens a lot. I mean, sometimes I believe that one good thing about Salvadorian people is that one. I mean, in other countries, they are used to call somebody or to replace something to to just buy another thing. 
But Salvadorian people, since we are kids, right? We try to analyze and try to solve problems. If you have a toy that is broken, you try to, to analyze and think, oh, why did that happen? Or some people, they open that one, or some people, they research, or I mean, you look for help. So that is a very good thing that we do here in Salvador. So it's very nice, that one. Any other opinion, any other comment on this? Me, teacher. Good okay, evening. Go good evening. Good evening. And in my case, this is very frequent. Is the reflex in my work is because the, uh, I live and it I stay and healthy reflection is almost is a daily, daily and several times for every day. It's very very frequently. Yeah, I, I guess on, in your career, I mean, as a doctor, that is something very important because every case is different, right? And you need to analyze and go think out of the box, right? Listen, check many things. I mean, it's very important. It's, it's very important and every case is different. And I believe that sometimes you need to come to, to something that is kind of, I mean, totally different. So you need to analyze a lot of things. Very good. Any other opinion, comment? Good, so the next question says, have you ever suggested management to implement a training program to improve your and your colleagues performance? Uh -huh. Have you ever come to human resources or your boss and say, why don't we get somebody to help us learn these or look for something like this how that happened tell me yes please. in my case i i usually talk with uh, the human resources uh, person and i tell them uh, why why tell her because he's a is a woman that there are two things important in our uh, professional life one is the english that i'm i am uh, um, taking advantage of, of this and the second one is to know something uh, that could uh, solve your problems easily but your problems in in your world related to data uh, we all know uh, that we all, all of us in uh, in minor or major, uh, we, uh, we work with, with data. So the second thing that I, that I talk with these people is about to, it's about Excel. Excel is a, is a powerful tool that if you, can, uh, if you can manage or if you can uh, know how to do a or B or C thing, uh, you can uh, solve many things in a in an easy way. Uh, there are people. I, I I think there are people who is working in call centers, who is working uh, in uh, hospitals, and they are uh, they uh, work every day with too much data. So you have to be um, the best uh, or, or you can or you should to be um, um, how, how do you say this? Or how, how can I say this? You, you should be faster to, to analyze data and present data. So Excel is one of the most important things. Uh, English and Excel, and obviously your uh, your career, your professional career. There are two things that for me are the most important because you have your career, but these two tools, uh, they are, um, if, you took a, if you take advantage, you can go further than other people in your, in your level or or saying like like that, okay? So the, those those uh, two tools. 
Very good, perfect. Yeah, actually, that is so true. I really love Excel, you know? And nowadays, yes. you can do many things. I mean, you can connect that with SQL servers and analyzing and link tables. Actually, you can use BigQuery for you to analyze many things, create models. I mean, now you can do a lot, a lot of things. There are tools oh. like Looker, for example, where you can- I can relate. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, Power Query is a powerful. Um, yeah. How can I say? Ah, I Ooh. forgot the word. Herramienta, I forgot the word. Yeah, I mean, that, that is amazing. Nowadays, with all the technology that we have, we have tools like Looker. I don't know if you ever uh, use Looker, that is like a lot of databases together. So you can analyze it, you can get graphics and I mean, amazing, amazing. So, and whenever you know that kind of things, you're not only going to be better in the level and get a better position, but you're going to help the company yes. to, to take better decisions based on that full kind of information. Information is, is powerful, it's very good. Um and participating in the in the equation and yeah i i i have a suggested to to my boss or or, or the other people who is that uh, responsible on the trainee and i i have to just um um there is two, two tools um, for calling in, uh, in that way uh, from uh, Microsoft. And one is called Power Automate and the second one is Power Apps. That two tools are very, very, very powerful. Believe yes. me. Yeah, you can automate many many things and and in the other one you can uh, you can build apps without code that that thing is the future <laughs> yeah i mean we have moved on i mean that is very true now i mean it's like like do you remember a lot of time long a lot of years ago when you had to learn HTML for you to build a website. Now you just work to, there are many providers where there are templates and you say, I decide yeah. this and this and this and whatever, right? So you just pay for that one and that's it. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, now it's happening that one with apps because there are many yeah. tools. We have something here in Google that is called app sheet. That is exactly that one. You don't need code. You just go and say, I'm gonna, I need this for inventory. I need this for whatever kind of app that you would like to do. And you can upload it to the Google Play Store and you, yeah. I mean, it's amazing. Yeah. So, but the big problem is that we need to learn, right? So many things are coming out. So for you to be more competitive and be more efficient, definitely you need to go and learn those kinds of things and that's why sometimes we we see those kind of uh, technology or uh, trainings and we go to the human resource right hey, why don't you the only problem is that they say sometimes how much is it right is that too expensive or some some courses some training they are available in all in other countries sometimes they say yes or no so that is the next question actually there did you get people from human resources or your boss to say, yes, go ahead and take the course? Was that a positive response? Or did they say, mm, let me think about it? How was the outcome if you did something like that? Hi, good evening. Well, Hello, good evening. Um, in my opinion, I think that when the company give uh, opportunity to, to, to learn and other things is a good uh, opportunity for you. But the thing is when the company uh, give, um, I don't know how it would if you take um, opportunity, you can get um, 
difficult result because some companies uh, give the opportunity, but then if you leave the company for another better job, you need to pay for these courses. So that's the reason why I, I maybe I will think in my answer about that. Because when I was working in my, in my previous company, I remember that some uh, friends has a, a specialty courses in another country. Uh, but it, when the pandemic started, the company uh, stopped the operation because we was working in Avianca. And then, uh, so, you know, people need to need money and need to looking for another um, entry, entradas, uh, you understand, yeah. Income. Uh -huh. So the thing is that, yeah, they, they can't hire, renunciar, hire, right? Yeah, hire, uh -huh. They can't hire because um, in the previous year, they took a course, a specialty course. Uh, and they cannot resign. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they need to um, spend or, or wait in three years, I guess. Mm -hmm. And then if the company uh, decide fire, about the pandemic is totally different, but in his case, he can uh, hire because he took he took the 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 courses in the previous year. So if they leave the company, they need to pay for the courses around around five thousand dollars. So so it was not good. <laughs> yeah, it was not good. So. In that case, they need to uh, wait for the decision in the company. And if they decide in the pandemic, uh, fire the last um, or the, the, I don't know, if they decide fire another um, employees, maybe they could choose another of them, but they need to wait. So it's complex because they doesn't have a, no, they, they didn't. They, don't. Uh, they didn't. They didn't have a money because they didn't work. If you don't work, you don't have money, but they can looking for another job because they didn't have money for pay the courses. So it's complex. <laughs> Yeah, sometimes that happens. I mean, depending on, on the training, as I was telling you, sometimes there are some trains that are very expensive because yes. there are specializations that are, I mean, very, very unique, right? For this yes. kind of this kind of position, this kind of business. And companies sometimes they have different policies. So oh. depending on many situations, they say, okay, you can go, but right yeah yeah the thing is that the thing is, is when uh, the company gives the opportunity maybe you could get but uh, sometimes the um, courses are very specialty and you can use that um, knowledge in another company because it's unique for that position or for that uh, system or something like that it's really complex so you need maybe you need to looking for another uh, better job, but you are uh, in chain. Yeah, you are attached, so you cannot go. Yes, yes. that is so true. I mean, that's why I was telling you. Sometimes depends depends on many things. You can go to human resources or your boss and say, "Look at this amazing mm -hmm. training, and, mm -hmm. and it's going to be good <laughs> for you and the company and everybody." But they say, uh -uh, "Wait, right? Let's analyze. Let's mm -hmm. check." And then, yeah, that's why they have different, different policies, different companies, different situations. Good. Perfect. So then uh, the next one says build the vocabulary. So it says go online to find out more about the key terms in this lesson. So the first one is continuum professional development. We can, I mean, we can go online, but I know that you know that one. So. 
for everybody, what is continuing professional development? All the, Go ahead. All, the, all the education or the training that you can, that you get um, in order to improve your, uh, your professional uh, career, okay? Um, not only um, professional uh, skills or uh, professional skills, Mm -hmm. uh, but also uh, soft skills. So uh, maybe, um, uh, for example, uh, in in a course you can go to take Excel, but in another course you can go to attend a course for uh, how to how to manage the. I I, I don't know if this is correct how to manage the, the pressure, oh, no. Como manejar la presión? Yeah, that is true. Oh, how how, how to, to work under stress. pressure, right? So Yes, yes. That is true, that is true. I mean, this is the, the, the important thing about this kind of courses that sometimes it's not only the technical part on how to do some things there in the job or to use the software or to use whatever, but also some soft skills, how to handle conflicts, for example. So there are many, many things that are included there. So you can learn and then whenever you have different positions, move on. Very good. I guess we are clear onto, onto this one. So the next one is career path. What is career path? Uh -huh, anybody? Career path is uh, like the map uh, where it's, uh your growing will be on a, in your company or your personal path, but is step-by-step step the map what you want to achieve. Very good. So that is a career path, right? So when you go to a company, and you learn how is the structure of the company and then you decide, I would like to go here or there. And then, I mean, that is the goal. Of course, then you need to go and analyze yourself. What skills do I have? What, what trainings can I get so I can be better and move on into that department or that position and things like that? So, and that is a career path. The, the optimal way, of course, is when the company has a department or someone to help you in that one. So you have an interview just before you go to a position and they tell you, what do you want to do in the company? What, what would you like to learn? So, and they, they uh, give you a hand so you can give them. But there are many companies, of course, that they do not have that kind of, that kind of department or people. So you need to do it yourself, right? So you can choose the best, the best trainings, let's say. In my company, they, uh, it's the opposite because they push us a lot because there is a career path. And in my case, for example, I have a long time working <laughs> in that company. I never wanted to be on a different position. I love what I do, just sell, earn my own money. And, but they are like kind of pushing sometimes, some in a while they are, why don't you, no, no, no. <laughs> but they have a department, they have a, uh, department that is in charge of this, there is a, a structure um, unit because they have courses, they have uh, classes. It's a very, very strong uh, unit. That is true. And that is the optimal. I mean, that is amazing. Mm -hmm. And uh, I believe that sometimes they are pushing because they see the potential, right? But if you are happy, right? <laughs> if you're happy where you are. Yeah, I love uh, to be a cat. <laughs> <laughs> okay very good <laughs> very good yeah i mean that is another thing that you need to analyze for yourself right because yeah. i mean why am i going to be there even if there is more money but if i won't be happy no i was a boss i was a boss in the past and and i had i've been working with people i had the members and oh come on i decide after that no i want to be alone <laughs> 
very good that now you know, so you decide yeah. the best for you. Good. Exactly. <laughs> okay. So the next one, it says self-directed learning. What is that, my friends? You can research online. You can use your friends to call them and ask them. <laughs> But the question is, what is self-directed learning? What is that? It's when you uh, look in information by yourself and try to understand why, what happened in general. Okay, that is it. I mean, it's when you analyze yourself, right? Mm -hmm. And then you decide, I, I have this goal and I'm here. So what do I need, right? But then you do it yourself. But of course, for yeah. that one, you need to think about a career path within the company or outside the company. So the first step will be to have a career path. And then if they have a department and they can help you, that's fine. That's what we discussed. But if it's not possible, you can do it yourself, right? Yes, yeah. I believe that this is something that we should have more than in, in high school, right? Because sometimes, you don't know what you're going to do in the university, right? So you don't know what you're going to study. There are people that have some friends or the parents, they sit down with you and they say, analyze and let's think about that one. But so many people, they start sometimes the university and they, they don't know what they're doing. And it's a big problem because you sometimes you waste, you waste two or three years. Then to analyze and think, oh, this is not for me. I want that other career. So I believe that this should be something very strong at schools. What do you think about that one? Everybody? I agree. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, I agree. Go ahead. Go ahead. Huh? Sorry. Uh, yes, teacher, I, I think the, in the same way. Uh, because, for example, in my case, uh, when I was choosing about what career I was going to study, uh, I had two options. And yeah, in my high school, we have, we had uh, some specific person who advised us about what career choose, but I think that help didn't, was not useful for us. And, and in that in that age um, make make that decision is is very important so we need the the high school need to to improve that that point because the teenagers need more help in that case um so yeah it's important to to guide and the teenagers in a good way to they can make the best decision in what career they're going to to study because yeah three or two years goes to waste and and they then they decide to change and they are skipping from one career to one career so it's not good for the time for the resources it's true. I mean, that is something very, very common in El Salvador. I have seen that. I just remember one of my friends, she was studying uh, for lawyer. She was studying in the law school. You know, she was in the last year of the career. She passed everything clean. She was very good. And then someday she said to her father, I want to change the career. I want to be a psychologist. And well, the father was very comprehensive and said, okay, you can change. But it was five years after. She was in the last cycle. She never missed a class. She was very good at that. She was not happy. Maybe you say uh, four or five years wasted. But I believe that at the end, that is better than graduate and then work all your life in something that you don't like. At the end, it's a little bit better. That is even better if in high school they show you, I mean, 
this career is for this. You can analyze the pensum and then check what kind of subjects, what you are going to work for, what you're going to do whenever you finish the career. Even other questions like, is there a chance for you to work here in El Salvador from this career? So many questions should be asked and answered at that level, right? So it should be that way. But anyways, if you have a friend, if you have kids, that is your chance to help people. Good. And the last one says top up skills. What is that? Anybody? Top up skills. I guess. Go ahead. I guess that those are skills that you already have, but you only have to. You only have to clear some points to achieve your goal or to develop uh, completely the skill. Very good. So it's like when you upgrade the skill so you can achieve a goal, right? Something like that. Very good. I totally agree. It's something like that. So very nice. So we're going to do a little pause and then we're going to continue with the book because it's interesting and we are here to speak and analyze. So let's check the attendance. Ada Azucena Cáceres Mendoza. Present teacher. Good. Ana Claudia Gonzalez Velasquez. Present teacher. For you is the 101 today, Ana Claudia. Ah, oh, okay, okay. Perfect. Danny Josue Garcia Martinez. Present. Good. Fernando Marvin Gonzalez Martinez. Present teacher. Good. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejia. Present teacher. Good. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present teacher. Good. Ileana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Irene Azucena Cuellar Albanes. Present teacher. Good. Jose Marcos Rodriguez Ayala. Present. Good. Jose Osmin Rivas Navas. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. Good. Sorry, present and here teacher. Uh, who? Uh, I wasn't Jose. able. Oh, yeah, I wasn't able to. No worries. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Juan Miguel Bran Mejia. Maria Alejandra Barrientos. Present, present, sorry, sorry. Okay, good. <laughs> Maria Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Good. Ramon Enrique Mata Escobar. Present teacher. Good. Roberto Luis Umaña Orellana. Roxana Ibet Asensio de Mejia. Present. Very good. Steven Vladimir Villacorta Rivera. Present. Good. Suleima Yvonne Moreno de Hernandez. Present. Very good. So let's continue, my friends. Okay. So here's it. More vocabulary. What might be point of differentiation? Of course, speaking about continuing learning, right? Te vas a caer. Point. Point of differentiation. You can research online and then tell me and tell the class. Um, I think it's uh, um, 
many, many things that you have in common with other people. Uh, there are the, the some points, okay, when you are trying to evaluate uh, many candidates, but the one that you need or the one that you hire at the end of this, uh, of this uh, journey uh, must have several points or several skills above the media, okay? So this is the point of difference, differentiation. When you are above of the media and you are a, selected, but not only for the things that you say, uh, but also the things that you can do and you can demonstrate, okay? Uh, soft skills and hard skills or technical skills, okay? Uh, all people in here knows Excel, yes, but uh, for example, in my case, I know use Power uh, BI, Power Query, and some other uh, tools that that Excel have, that Excel has. But the other people they, uh, don't know how to how to use them. So that's my point of, of differentiation among other people uh, in this in this journey. Okay, I think uh, that's the main idea. Very good. Actually, that is it. I mean, there are skills that you have uh, and that you can specialize in. So you can check in and learn those things. Very good. Perfect. The other one is very easy. Everybody, what is soft skills? Attributes in person uh, to interact with other person and try to get a good um, or effectively uh, interact between them. Okay. Yeah, actually that is it. It's the way that you relate with other people and the way that you, I mean, for example, when you are a, a leader, right? Leadership mm -hmm. is part of this, uh, manage of conflicts, uh, customer service, that you know that customer service is not only the people that is in front of the customer, but all the company can be your customer. So things like that. Yes. Amazing. So the next one is turnover costs. What is that? I found this definition that says that cost of turnover is the cost associated with turning over one position. This calculation includes the cost of hiring for that position, training the new employee, and any severance or bonus packages and managing the role when it is not filled. Exactly, that is it. Turnover cost. It refers that, as we say before, do you remember the last class that People uh, get trained, but if you are not trained, if you're not happy, then you go to other company and it's very expensive to hire another person, to train that new person. I mean, that is, is, is very expensive. It's better to train people properly, make them happy and to stay. They, have, they decide to stay. So that is definitely better. And actually that is why career path is something very important. Whenever you have different skills, when you learn something else, you will be able to move on, right? Good, perfect. What is payoff? Payoff. What is payoff? You can research, of course. One uh, a meaning that I found, it says a, a payment made to someone, especially as a brief of reward. 
or on uh, leaving a job. Okay, leaving a job. So that is it, right? So it's like, yeah, when, when you actually uh, learn something and at the end you say, okay, I can get another position in another company. Goodbye, my friends. Mm -hmm. See you around. Good. And well, this is kind of the, the things that we checked the other day. Continuing professional development. It says how to use PR conjunction part one. And it says, look at the examples in the box. Then complete the exercises below. The first part of the chart. Let's see who is going to help me. Suleyma Yvonne, could you please read the first part? Okay. Look at the examples in the box, then complete the exercise below. Pair conjunctions come in pairs, such as not only, but also, and but, and. Like the fanboys for an nor but or jet so pair conjunctions are used to connect two clauses phrases or words they get their name from the fact that they always work both parts of the pair have to be used in different places in a sentence for them to make sense very good so I guess the explanation is very clear. We already checked into that one, but of course, this is a different way. It's a different approach on this one. So the next part with the actual examples, um, Steve, could you please help us reading on this one? Okay. <clears throat> Use not only but also in formal context to add more information as you connect two elements in a sentence. <clears throat> the second one, use both and to emphasize the link between two ideas. May I continue? continue? Yeah, please. Okay. Hey, <clears throat> not only did he get a scholarship but also he got a sponsorship to finish his, his study. B, the company offered not only training sessions, but also a mentorship program. And for the other example, A, both feedback and mentorship are important elements of professional development. B, both new and experienced employees can join the training. Okay, and the last part, please. Okay, notice the same grammatical form, twofold each part of the pair con, uh, conjunction, conjunction. Conjunction. Conjunction, thank you. A, not only plus sentence, but also plus sentence. B, not only plus non phrase, but also plus mm, non phrase. And the other one, A, both mm, plus noun and plus noun. B, both plus adjective and plus adjective. Okay, so that is it. Uh, there are like the explanation very, very detailed, let's say, to uh, these. These are the first pair conjunctions that we're gonna check because we're gonna check some other in the future. We also check some other, uh, the other class, right? So it's very easy. For first of all, we're gonna connect both mm -hmm. ideas. Remember that we check the use of that one. We not only pay for the rent, but also gave a present to the parents. So you connect two ideas where are positive, let's say. So. And the last part, I mean, is important, but it's not that important. If you connect the two sentences, you are going to be good if it makes sense. I believe that at this point, if you see that something makes sense, it's going to be nice, right? Uh, let's check some words. What is my friend's scholarship? In English, of course. Is uh, education payment. 
monthly okay. payment for uh, the school for a school okay yeah when you get a scholarship it's because you're going to study and you don't have to pay right so that is it amazing and then the other one it says sponsorship what is a sponsorship someone that um uh, well in football or soccer it, they have a lot of sponsors so they gave uh money uh just because it show the 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 brand so those are sponsors so Very someone good. that pay you for it for something in this case is someone that cover or uh, yeah someone that support your your school very good so that is it i mean uh, the first one is scholarship is when you you don't pay somebody else is paying in the sponsorship you receive the money not only the money for the books and the school but maybe a little bit more for food for transportation for things like that so that's what it says not only did he get a scholarship but also he got a sponsorship to finish his studies i mean somebody is going to pay for the school and also is going to give the person uh, money so interesting good the other one on the other hand says feedback what is to provide feedback what do you think about about something yeah very good it's when you analyze something and you provide that feedback to other people i mean for another company when you have an experience uh, or you know something so you can provide that feedback so the other person gets better right mentorship what is a mentorship maybe when a person who knows more than you guides guide you through the uh, through the walkthrough uh, in order to to complete to, to in order to that other people or, or that other person can complete the uh, um, the path uh, or, or the activity yeah very good actually that is mentorship it's a way of training right but it's not a class It's when uh, somebody that does not have a lot of experience goes and work with somebody that has a lot of experience and they show you uh, like experiences, uh, steps, processes, procedures, and things like that, different ways. Good, perfect. Let me check if there is any other, I don't think so. Okay, do you have any question about this? Okay, let's move on then. So we're gonna do the exercise six. Circle the option that best completes the sentence. Compare your choices with a partner. Okay, I'm gonna give you a few minutes for you to, to check into that one and then together we're going to analyze. Uh, if you have the book, you can do it there. If you don't have the book, you can see it here. Okay. I will provide you a few minutes so you can analyze, check what would be the best option. Uh, are my courses more probable? They don't. Uh, uh, either or. Either or. Teacher, and I have a question. Of course, go ahead. And where can I download the, the manual? Well, you can download it on the here on the platform. I'm sorry for everybody, I'm going to move it. 
So here in the platform, you can go up and then it says here, students manual, you come here. And then here, there is the option for you to download it. And uh, tomorrow, or maybe later on, I will be able to send it uh, on the chat, on the group all chat, so you can just download it from there if you want. Okay. Perfect. Good, good. Well, actually, somebody, uh, Roxana, she sent it already in the, in the group, so you can download it already if you want. Thanks, Roxana. Okay, everybody has finished, right? Let's check together anyways. Number one, uh -huh -huh. what is going to be weather or, or bus and... Who wants to say the whole sentence? I will. Okay, thank you. Uh, both training and formal education affect affect the employees' professional development. Very good, perfect. That of course is both and nice. Who wants to say number two? Me. I will. Okay. Go ahead. You. No. Go ahead. Oh, okay. uh, not only are online courses of an affordable way to learn, but also they are a good way to boost your resume. Okay, very good, perfect. Everybody agrees, right? Nice. Now, number three. Me, teacher. Go ahead, please. Okay, both experience and education are requirements to get a promotion. Very good, perfect, that's nice. Who wants to do number four? I 
I will. Okay, People interested in professional development can can not only subscribe to our new 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 less new newsletter <laughs> newsletter to get more information on courses, but also register for new courses notification. Very good. So not only and but also register for new courses notification. Perfect. Number five, who wants to check into that? Hey, Mister. Go ahead. Uh, the company not only needed the manager to encourage training opportunities, but also a person to work closely with employees' professional development. Very good. Perfect. That was it. And number six, how is it going to be? Who wants to check in the last one? Me. Okay. Okay. Is the responsibility of leader both to encourage learning of new skills and to promote to promote to promote particip the participation of employees in trainings and coaching sections? Very good. Perfect. So as you can see, it's very easy. If it makes sense, you know what you need to use. I mean, here the formulas, I mean, if it's going to be an adjective or an adjective or something like that, I, at the end is not that important. Of course, it's important, but this is more like it makes sense or not, okay? Let's check some words. So for example, what is formal education? What is that, my friends? Maybe when you, at the end of the courses, get a degree? Okay, that is it. Yeah, a degree is something like, like a career, right? Something that is mm -hmm. like very formal, right? Training are like different training courses that you can yeah. take. Good. What is, let me check, affordable? Uh, something that you can pay. Very good. Something that you are willing and you can pay. Nice. Good. And then it says here to boost your resume. What is boost? Improve. Improved. Very good. To push something, right? Upgrade. Uh -huh. Upgrade. Okay, good. Uh, let's see what else. What is a newsletter? Like a kind of a a newspaper but it's like an internal information from a company sometimes most of the time they are launched or sent through your email but it contains uh, just news belonging to your company or things you must know about what is happening or what's going on Perfect. in your organization mm -hmm. That is exactly what is it. So it's going to be like something like a website or an email or something for you to read and check what is going on within the company, what actions, what promotions, what courses, anything, right? So that is it. Uh, let's see. I remember there was another one, but I don't find it. Uh, no, that will be it. Okay, so let's move on. Uh, well, these are like um, some links for you to check. I checked some of those and I mean, some of those are not available anymore. Anyways, you can read about this in very many other ways. Actually, we're going to check a video. Okay. Let me just change here the configuration. So you can watch it. Okay. So this is a little video. We're going to check into that one and then uh, you tell me opinions, comments about what you understood into this one. So here we go, my friends. So learning and development is important for directors because we believe that directors should be leading by example. 
directors should um, embrace continuous learning um, on a personal level and inevitably if they do this they'll be more productive, motivated, successful. If this ethos is then shared with other board members and supported by those board members then it really has the potential to cascade throughout the organisation and hopefully instigate some behavioural change and generate some significant improvements to staff performance and ultimately to the bottom line. Now, continuous learning will inevitably involve some personal investment on behalf of the director, but this doesn't always necessarily mean spending more money or adding more additional hours to your very busy working week or even completing lengthy written learning logs. Um, Many members are doing this already. There's a real misconception about learning and the very fact that you've logged on to IOD Connect today and you're watching this means that you're demonstrating some commitment to continuous learning and improvement. Learning is really a journey. It's not an event or series of events. Learning shouldn't cease just because you've reached a certain level um, of experience, seniority or even due to your age. So continuous professional development or CPD as it's commonly abbreviated to can be any learning activity designed to enhance your skills, your knowledge, your competence or generally your career progression. Now CPD encompasses a lot more than formal learning which for example is, is going on a training course. There are a myriad of learning options, online tools and resources available to directors, many of which are completely free of charge. Now, due to the advancement of technology, there's been a real shift in the way people learn and actually individuals are really embracing informal learning and there are a number of things that can be included in that. To give you some examples, this would be peer-to-peer -peer learning through social networking groups. This could be generally absorbing information from the learning culture within your organisation, doing some blogging, joining an interest group, volunteering, mentoring um, other people. But it's really important not to forget the value of formal or facilitative learning. And this includes your more traditionally known things such as courses, qualifications, coaching, membership of a professional institute, uh, e-learning, webinars, so it also includes online and self-directed study. So how do you go about choosing the best solution for you with all of these options that are available? Well the best place to start is to do a quick self-assessment and this could be a personal SWOT analysis or it could be a more complex diagnostic tool. What you're trying to do is to identify the areas where you need development, that you need to learn and then try and actually change these into learning objectives and imagine what the perceived outcome of that objective would be. Then try and attribute some time scales. This is a great way of maximising the possibility that you'll actually achieve these objectives. And seek feed feedback from your peers. Um, and this doesn't necessarily mean you know, going to work colleagues. It could be friends, it could be family. Look to your direct reports and if relevant, ask your manager for their opinion as well. Another thing to look at is will this learning solution benefit other people within your organisation? Um, if that's the case, then maybe an in-house solution would be one more cost effective and also more relevant because you could tailor it to the audience and to your organisation. Now, many of our members opt for a number of different development routes, but probably the most popular would be obtaining a qualification. It would be attending some of our more specialist courses around their role on the board or developing a skill. Many become executive coaches. Many want to mentor aspirant directors. Many want to become trainers themselves. Popular at the moment is becoming a non-executive director. Now, all of these routes reap and offer a range of rewards but they all share a common theme and that is director development. So perhaps the most important message should be when it comes to CPD there isn't a one-size-fits-all approach. The options that I've talked to you about today give you the freedom and the flexibility to blend informal and formal learning options to suit you where you're at in your career and your particular circumstances. So wherever you are in your career and whatever you want to achieve, your CPD should be exactly that, yours. Good, so what did you get from this one?
it's your turn now. Any comment, anything that you got that was interesting or I don't know. The, like uh, developing is like around the corner. You can take advantage of your upper management in case you um, develop an idea, you can ask for uh, instruction or mentoring, but also you can lend yourself at your pace. Um, but it's, it, it seems like it's in the atmosphere. Uh, you look for uh, resources now with the technology, there are a lot of resources you can take advantage of and Mm, they can also be low cost. Very good, perfect, interesting, yeah. I mean, it's something that is there, right? So we just need to take advantage and it's low cost for you, I mean. And for the company, it's also very good because if you learn something, you will be increasing productivity. Good, any other comments? You can speak about also the accent, the fluency of the person. I mean, it's not just about the idea, but you can see also that, I mean, of course she's from England and her accent is, is, is there, right? You, you understand that one. Uh, it, and also, well, another thing that we need to start showing is the fluency. I know it's difficult because sometimes we make some mistakes and we are uh, thinking this is going to be correct or not, but you can jump it up, not every time, but little by little, we can go and speak a little bit faster. Of course, that depends on many things because if you usually speak slower, I mean, if that is the way that you speak, that is not a problem, right? But uh, that is another exercise that we're going to do maybe the next week, how to speak a little bit faster, so. But do you have any other comment about this one? Yep, me. Go ahead. Something that, that I really like, so that she said, so the was that in order that we, we can create like a, de a good development, so like developing the skills. So it's like the self assessment. So, on, and also get feedback. but so because actually we are like in a comfort zone that, that we're thinking that, so everything is cool. So, and everything would be okay. So if we, if we keep on the same like spot at the same position, right? But sometimes that, that is, so it's really important to move, right? Because in order that we can like reach something else, no money, right? So like knowledge. So, and I, I far as I know, so, and I heard before that knowledge, so uh, is like a really good value. So because, so probably someone, that has more knowledge than you. So it's not because that they pay for those knowledge. So as well, so we're, they were listening. So, and also that they are getting like knowledge. So by like putting the efforts and, and it's really good to get the feedback. So in order that you can improve something else or get more information that would be perfect in order to like, move to the comfort zone. Actually, that is very, very true. I mean, and it was very interesting. I mean, sometimes that is true. Sometimes we are like, I'm happy here and I don't want to move or learn. I mean, it, it's, it doesn't mean that you are going to learn and you are looking for another position. I mean, you are going to decide what to do so you can be better and learn more. So very nice. Any other comment? Okay, I really like something that you said that, I mean, this kind of situation, I mean, the development, the professional development uh, is something that is journey, right? It's not something that you do one, two, three courses and that's it, or that you achieve these skills and that's it. You go to this level and then you visualize other goals so you can continue moving on. And that is it. I mean, in, in, 
these times, nowadays, with all the information, with all the resources that we have, is very easy and it's for free. The only thing that you need to have is internet connection. And you can take courses online, you can watch videos, you can learn many things. Of course, we need to be careful because some information is false or not good enough. But that is something that, of course, you analyze and you check this is not good, so we can move on to a different way. So it's a good thing. Nice, so let's continue with the class. I have another thing for you. So negative effects on lack of programs for professional development. And um, well, this is just the, the topic for today. Uh, what will be, oh, well, I have another thing that I will show you here. So we can read a little bit more about this. This is it. So, we're gonna read a little bit more then. So let's see, let's start with Anna Claudia. You're gonna be the first one. Uh, where it says your employees here. Okay. Until, is the first paragraph? Until Just the this? first paragraph, yeah. Okay. Your employees can contribute to the success of your company when they are trained to perform their jobs according to industry standards. Training, which is essential for management as well as staff, typically consists of several classes on site or at a different location during orientation. Some companies consider in deep training an unnecessary expense and expect new employees to learn on the job from supervisors and older employees. However, this type of training is often inadequate and creates problems for the business. Good. What did you understand on this one? Uh, it's a real situation. <laughs> Sometimes some companies, they expect that the new trainee complete the training on the floor. Uh, or sometimes it's not just the trainers or the company wearing that is the the trainee hoping to find the last resources until he's on the floor in a call center you know that is something common very common and it happens but what i realized is that nowadays this uh, generation or, or the younger they don't like to take notes they don't like to write or they don't like to read and they think yes i can yes i can and just do it and it's not the way so i think everything has a process but it happens we see it on a new way once in a while <laughs> that is so true yeah that happens it's very common i believe that happens around the world i mean mm -hmm. there are companies that says okay this is, I mean, sometimes in the trainings, they show you a lot of things, but whenever you are in the position, it's like, I mean, it's totally different, right? <laughs> something that they tell me is definitions, but here I need something else, something like tools or any other thing. Good. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Thank you. So one of the first consequences about lacking of a program for continuing Developing is this unhappy employees and high turnover. Of course, we discussed that one, but we're going to check into that one. Danny, could you please read this one? Sorry. <laughs> um, unhappy employees. Yeah, please. Unhappy employees and high turnover. Turnover. Employees are interested in performing their jobs well to advance the company. Feel a sense of, of pride for a job well done and advance to higher position. When there is no training, employees do not understand how to do their jobs and none of these goals are possible. This leads to low mora moral among workers, which results in employee turnover. A company with a reputation for high employee 
turnover is also an attractive to potential job candidate. Good. What did you understand on this one? Um, I understand that um, employees um, already know or already understand that uh, the importance of uh, a trainee and because they want to they want they want to grow into the company they want to um, create a career path but uh, they need the opportunity from the company and um, when this um, don't happen but they just like uh, left the company that is so true and i mean this is this is something that also is very common i mean um if you are not happy in your, on your job one of the first things that you think is i need to go to other place right i need to to find a different company i'm not happy here the sad part is that companies sometimes they do not understand that part i mean if they are seeing that people are leaving and then you need to train more people, you need to change something, right? Something is going on. And the other problem is the last part that it says in the paragraph. I mean, nobody's going to come to your company because they, they everybody's going to say, no, that company is not good. Don't go there. So it's going to be harder for a company to have good talent working there. So. Yeah, I have a question, sure. Yep. Um, high employee turnover is the same like attrition. Like yeah, it's of related attrition. to, yeah. The difference is that attrition is just the aspect that people resign, right? And the turnover is like the financial way. So it's going to be like a ratio that you are going to calculate. So you are going to be able to identify if the company is fine or is, if it's not good. Good, good. Let's see if there is any other word here. What is pride, my friends? Pride that you feel proud of something. Okay, when you're proud, when it's like not humble, right? Mm -hmm. uh, it's not like the month, right? <laughs> that is a different kind of pride but yeah it's like i am pride like okay and actually that is something that is very important in companies when you identify with the company and you feel happy there and you are part of a team you are pride of the company you're proud i mean then I mean, everything is fine, right? You, you don't want to go to other company. That, that is something that does happen, even with the country, right? Sometimes we don't, we're not so proud sometimes of, of our country. Let's see any other. What is it? Morale. Good values. Values, okay. In this situation, maybe it's more like um, uh, how it's motivated. More like feeling. Uh -huh. It's like the feeling. Yeah. How, how motivated are you there in your job? Okay. And there is no other. Okay. So the next one says low rates of production. That is going to be for Heidi. Okay. The rate of production is low when employees don't know enough to perform their jobs confidently. To save time, employees often delegate the task of training to employees who have been on the job longer, but many times these employees aren't given extra time to do so. They still need to complete their own work, so they rush through the training or leave it up to the new employee to ask questions. Unskilled employees could spend considerable time seeking help to perform their jobs 
or they could perform tasks to their understanding, to their detriment of work process. This could lead to errors and work needing to be repeated or corrected. When more experienced employees spend time monitoring unskilled workers, it detracts from their work and affects their production as well. Good, what did you get from this? I get that it's really necessary to take the time to, to give a good training to new employees. Otherwise, if they don't learn uh, the appropriate way, they uh, can they can make you spend more time because they're going to ask you every time or, or they're going to be insecure of what they're doing. That is so true, right? So whenever you are in a rush because you want them to produce something, at the end, it's not going to be good. At, at least at the beginning of the job, I mean, many errors and it's going to cause a lot of problems for the company. So that is not good at all. Let's check some words. What is to delegate? Their responsibilities. Assign. Give or assigned task to another person. Okay, very good. So that is it, right? To give other people some tasks about for them to, to do something. What is, let me see. There are not many words here. Detriment. Mm -hmm. Understanding. When the per maybe a when the performance of something or some people is decreased, is going down. Okay, so that is it, right? Because of the rush that you are doing in the training, I mean, the, the work that people are doing is not that good. What is unskilled? People who don't have the um the skills for a a kind of activity of a of a special special activity very good perfect so the next one says in safe work environment that is going to be for marcos okay uh, the occupational safety and health administration states that untrained workers are more susceptible to injuries. This happens when workers lack the knowledge and skill required to use equipment and supplies safely. The problem could be fatal in work environments that contain heavy duty machinery and hazardous materials. It is enough to have established procedures and protocols for activities that involve patient safety risks. Employees must receive training on the appropriate procedures and how and when to use them. Supervisors need to ensure that all employees understand the protocols and demonstrate that they can follow them routinely. Okay, very good. What did you understand from this one? Um, okay, um, I understand that people, the employees need to, to follow some protocols and, and they must to have clear some um, procedures in emergencies, cases, and yeah, even if they only work in an office, they need to follow some sequence in case of emergencies. And, and it's important to have well trained that all the employees and the supervisors need to uh, ensure that all can follow the, the, um, the procedures to, to, 
to save um, the integrity in any emergency. And for example, in this, uh, in, in any labor that is uh, developing, in the supervisor need to ensure that all employees follow all the advices to to save their their life. Uh, for example, in, in, in our country uh, are some cases where where, where the employees uh, die or or suffer an, an accident because they don't follow the, the instruction and they were working on safety. So it's important to have clear that all the advices from the supervisor and the, all the protocols. Perfect. Yeah, actually that is it. I mean, there are hard skills that they need to learn and companies, they should have the time to teach that one, to train, to be sure that everything is going to be learned, to practice thing. I mean, sometimes it's not just a matter for you to teach you this is this part and this is this button, but also to to practice something. So, <laughs> really? I'm uh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no it's worries. my dog. Okay. It's my dog. Like he's a, oh. <laughs> wants to participate, of course, in the class. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. No, no worries. Okay, uh, ineffective staff management. This is for Irene. Hello, Irene. Not possible. Maria Alejandra. Hi. Hello. Hello. Uh, ineffective staff man management. When managers aren't adequate, adequately trained in affects affects the entering company, a entire. manager, entire company, a manager who is uh, new to his role, needs training in how to manage people, delegate, delegating work, resolving conflict between employees, motivating his staff and adapting to change uh, within the company. Employees look to manage management to solve these issues and become disillusion disillusion when disillusioned when it is lacking. Their moral these um dips and they don't care as much about their work or productivity. Uh, very often the employee, employees leave the company while the in effect manager stays on, but still doesn't receive the training that could help him evolve into the excellent supervisor. Supervisor, okay. What supervisor. did you understand on this one? The, um, it's very important when the management to uh, delegate uh, delegate a different person, different step of the activities, uh, because it's very important that the, all the persons how to do uh, for the work. Um, in this step is the important that you know that how the people motivate, how the people are uh, un uncomfortable for the situations or that in issues for the company or the work or that the manager don't take a lot of um, attention for the different problem that you need to resolve and for you to do best your work and that when you receive a training is 
that they're important because you understand all the process and all the roles for the different persons in the, the company. Okay, perfect. Yeah, actually, uh, we said that before, right? If the leader is not fine, I mean, everything is not going to be fine. So not possible, definitely. Uh, we're going to check uh, increased business expenses. That is going to be for, let me see, Roxana Asensio. Hello, Roxanne. Uh, sorry, uh, could you repeat, please? Yeah, increased business expenses. Okay, a company that does not train its staff can expect an increase in a wide range of expenses, such as the cost of medical attention for staff because of injuries, 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 sustained from unskilled use of equipment and supplies, compensation to customers for, for defective products, and the cost of defending the company and against 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 lawsuit from employees who feel their injury was the result of inadequate training from outsiders insured insured while visiting the company wow. while visiting the company or from customer who purchase fault purchase full faulty products good what did you understand on this one nothing <laughs> <laughs> okay no problem so yeah expenses it's going to be more expensive for companies i mean there are three examples okay. that the cost of medical attention because of somebody get hurt not using the equipment properly uh, compensation for customer for defective products. I mean, if a product is not good, uh, I mean, some customers, they are going to return products. It's going to be very expensive. And the cost of defending the company against, I mean, everything should be impacted because people are not well-trained. So that is it. And of course, the last one is loss of customers. Untrained employees cannot produce high quality products if they also lack adequate knowledge and skills to provide satisfactory customer service. This combination results in dissatisfied customers. The company will experience decline in sales and this dissatisfied customers choose competitors who can provide quality products and appropriate service. So definitely at the end, if you don't or companies don't invest in training, it's going to be a big impact in every single thing. So my friends, before we finish, do you have any questions? No question. Perfect. So I'm going to check the attendance and then we say goodbye by now. Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present teacher. Good. Ana Claudia Gonzalez Velázquez. Present teacher. Good. Dani Josué García Martínez. Present. Good. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present. Good. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present. Good. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present teacher. Good. Ileana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Irene Azucena Cuellar Álvarez. Present. Good. Jose Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. Present. Good. Jose Osmin Rivas Navas. Present. Good. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. Good. Juan Miguel Brand Mejía. Present teacher. Good. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Good. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Roberto Luis Sumaña Orellana. Roxana Ibeth Asensio de Mejía. Present. Good. 
Steven Vladimir Villacorta Rivera. Present. Good. Suleima Yvonne Moreno de Hernández. Okay, my friends, it was a pleasure to be with you. I hope you rest very well. And of course, see you tomorrow. Dream in English. See you tomorrow. See you guys. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night. Good night, teacher. Bye. Bye. Hey, hello, how are you? I'm doing very well. <laughs> Thank you for asking. Ah, it's a pleasure. Mm -hmm. So, of course, I know that you have experience. Of course, your English is very good, but let's check about the one-on-one. -on -one. So the first thing is, how do you feel that you're moving on? Do you believe that you're learning, that you are getting- Of course, of course, because, you know, last year when I started the first course, I studied in the beginners. I remember it was beginners course three and I was, well, let's see what I can learn. My God, now I say, why I didn't start at the beginners number one. <laughs> it's, uh, I always uh, think uh, I've been improving a lot because I have some ideas or some grammar uh, ideas or knowledge, but they were like not organized. And with these uh, courses, I've learned a lot. And I feel I work in sales. I work in Spanish and English. It's 50-50. Let's say, well, yeah, nowadays it's like 60 Spanish and 40 English. But always we have communication with um, the account that I work for is uh, kind of different because we have one of one with the client. We as a cat, we are. <laughs> it's an A. We have they like they love to have one on ones with people, and you are there alone. And uh, I learned a lot of uh, business uh, vocabulary, and you see the different and you feel different when you are on a meeting with them or on a general meeting and you understand better the concept. My, uh, all the other colleagues, they are some of the, most of them, they work in Pakistan, from Pakistan. And we are here in El Salvador. There are other from Philippines and there are other located inside US, all the headquarters in US. But uh, you, um, it's like they, um, they know uh, who can talk to about different topics. Mm -hmm. And I've been learning a lot. I now uh, don't feel afraid to talk. And my improvement is showing on myself because my rate of English sales on the past, it was lower. And now I always, every month, sell uh, to my uh, pipeline I have for English customers. Mm -hmm. But I'm learning. Believe it or not, every day I'm learning. Mm -hmm. Perfect. I'm very happy about that one. That is very, very nice. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And uh, do you have any question about any topic, not only from this, no, but any other module? No, I want to say that I like the way how you uh, teach us because I, that uh, like um, that way of just go to a breakout room and do this, do that. Uh, there are a lot of people not participating and they are not talking. And, and I know when you hear us talking or reading, you see, <laughs> you are able to identify the situation. And we uh, been like in a way, like 
get used to that format, let's say it in that way. And I like this way because you make everybody to participate, everybody to talk, and we need to think. Our previous teacher was preparing us in this way. Some of us, we took advantage of that way because he made us a lot to talk and also he made us uh, to discuss, wow, intense questions. And we were like, what? Uh, but some of our colleagues, they were always uh, quiet, they were in silence, and they were always asking for, you know, did you already complete the, this in the platform? Just give me a copy. Or, uh, it was like kind of frustrating. And I was talking with Heidi because she's one of my, my best friends here. Uh, I knew her here in these courses. And we were talking one of these days, you know, people who is always asking for uh, just give me the copy for this and that they are feeling now pressure because they feel like wow what am i doing here but it's something we need to overcome we need to go through because that is the only way as you mentioned today we are going to talk more effectively mm, that is what i did because i was uh, feeling like shame every time, even though I have a lot of a long, lot of time working in the call center environment, my technique in the past was I heard one phrase or something that was very nice. I was writing down that and I was saying it just because I heard it and I grabbed it and I like it, but I didn't know the real meaning. And now I feel that confidence with these courses. Mm -hmm. Hey, it's, it sounds very good, very nice. Yeah. And uh, well, I'm very happy to be with you, to be honest with you. That is true. Sometimes I don't do the, the break rooms. Uh, I don't like them that much. I prefer to discuss here. Yeah, uh, it's better. Yeah, for me, it's better because everybody can participate, give, provide yes. opinion. Yeah. I mean, and everybody has the chance, as you say, if they don't want to speak, what can we do? But sometimes I, I point at them and I, I try to, mm -hmm. to everybody to participate. So that is a very good way for me to do it. And I'm very happy that you liked it. Yes, I like this participation class. <laughs> yes, I like mean, Every teacher, you know, I learned of every teacher I had. Uh, I always made that feedback in the last uh, uh, survey. We feel when we complete in the last class. I, I don't know, but all of you, you are super duper teachers. So all of you are very prepared. <laughs> By the way, did, so you been teaching in the past or, or what? Yeah, actually I used to teach for IPCA and I used to teach for many other things. I teach sometimes at the university, but not English, but a business administration. Um, and I like it, I really like it. That's why I saw this opportunity and I say to myself, I'm going to jump into that one. I, sometimes I'm very tired from my regular job. Oh, I just can imagine. But this is like more, more than a job is to meet people, to discuss, to, I don't know. It's different. So it gives you energy because I know that after this, you need to upload the video and all of that. It's like uh, all of you, you are like going to bed like a warning. <laughs> Yeah, it's yeah. Pretty, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. No, but I, I've learned a lot here with these all these courses. Always, I say that I've learned a lot. Perfect. I'm very happy about that one. So, whenever you have a question, whenever you need anything, you can chat with me, and of course, it will be a pleasure. Of course, don't have on that. I will do so. <laughs> okay, perfect. It was a pleasure. Then have a Thank very good night, and see you tomorrow. See, see you tomorrow, teacher. Bye bye now. Bye bye now.